In the following video, we will examine how to write a quadratic equation in standard form and identify all of the parts. Now, a quadratic equation is a function that is described in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So a quadratic equation. fits this form ax squared plus bx plus c. Now in that form of ax squared plus bx plus c, we call that either standard form or we call it quadratic form. Each term, remember terms are separated by addition signs or subtraction signs, are is its own term. We look at the first term ax squared we call the quadratic term. And we call it the quadratic term because it has the exponent of two, it's squared. Now bx, we learned that anything with an x with an exponent of one is linear. And so we call bx the linear term. And c is the constant. Remember, constant is just a number with no variable attached to it. So in the standard form, the quadratic form, our equations must be written at first our quadratic term, then our linear term, and then our constant. Your exponents are in decreasing order from left to right. So let's practice that. Let's practice writing quadratic equations in the standard quadratic form. So write the following quadratic form, and then we're going to identify all of the parts. So first we have 2x squared plus 7 minus 9x. Remember, quadratic form fits the quadratic term first, your ax squared, then your linear term, and then your constant. So if you look, my quadratic term is first here, so that's good. So I'm going to write down my 2x squared. But this 7 is my constant. This minus 9x is my linear term. And so that's going to go next, minus 9x and then plus my constant 7. So now we're going to identify all of the parts. Our quadratic term is 2x squared. Our linear term is negative 9x. And our constant is positive 7. So let's try it over on 3 times the quantity x minus 2 squared. Now, this one is a little bit of a trick. Many of you try and remember your properties of exponents and think that the exponent distributes to both the terms. However, that is not true if there is an addition or a subtraction sign there. The power rule only works with multiplication or division going on. And so we have to remember, what does it mean to square something? And to square something means to actually multiply it by itself. And so if I just display that, I see I don't actually distribute the exponent. I have to what is referred to as distribute each term in the first parentheses to all the terms in the other, or the acronym for it is FOIL. And so you take the x, distribute to the x, you get x squared. Take the x to the negative 2, you get negative 2x. Negative 2 to x, you get negative 2x. And negative 2 to negative 2 is positive 4. Combine like terms, you get x squared minus 4x plus 4. And so that is just the squaring of this binomial. We still are going to have to distribute that 3. And so I have 3 times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 4. Distribute, you get 3x squared minus 12x plus 12. It is in standard form, quadratic form, my quadratic term, my linear term, and then my constant. So let's identify those. Your quadratic term is 3x squared. Your linear term is negative 12x, and your constant is 12. 
So do be careful when you're squaring a binomial, it does not mean to distribute the square, the two to the exponents on the inside. It means to actually expand it out and FOIL it or distribute it to combine like terms. Also notice when you square a binomial, you end up with three terms for it. It's a pattern that you should hopefully try and memorize. But once you get in center form, you're used to it being in this form for factoring anyway, AX squared plus or minus BX plus or minus C. It's just now we're defining what each of these terms represent, quadratic, linear, and constant.